Hey, 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 you guys. What's up, y'all? Uh, just going live real random like. <laughs> but I had to go real, I had to go live real quick, real, real live real quick because I'm so overjoyed and excited for for David. So let me just give you a little quick backstory. So David started with me, I would probably say maybe about a year ago. He enrolled in the program. And he took Tax Deed Genius Real Estate Investing Program, right? Which is um, my course that I created that teaches people how to invest in both tax liens and tax deeds all across the United States. And it also includes how to become a surplus recovery agent as a bonus as well. So David's been in the program for a while. And he successfully graduated and, you know, with him and his wife, you know, they're just doing their thing. So just really excited for him about that. So every now and then, you know, he would like, uh, you know, send me a quick message as an update and that kind of stuff. Right. So we would like keep in touch with each other as I do with all of my students, because once you are in the Tax D Genius family, we family for life. Like I'm saying you know, happy birthday to your kids, happy anniversary. I'm just literally all up in your business like that. All right, that's just me. That's how I roll. Anyway, so I'm minding my business this morning and I get a notification from David letting me know that he won at an auction yesterday for one of the counties here in Florida. So real quick, he called me because he was like ecstatic about it. And I was like, whoa, one second. I'm on, a, I'm on a call. Let me call you right back. So I call him right back and then we get to talking about it. So he's like super excited, super nervous because he's like, holy Jackie, <laughs> I did it. I really, really did it. And I'm like, yeah, you did it. You really, really did it. <laughs> So he bought one acre, a one acre vacant residential lot in Lake County, Florida, which I'm super duper excited for him to do. And that lot, he can actually build um, a single family home on it. And it's also zoned as well for a... Um, for a mobile home in the event that he wanted to just put, you know, a mobile home or a modular home on it, which is um, less costly than building a um, stick figure home is what they call it, like a an actual regular single family house. So he has some options of how he would like to do it. Plus, he's in between two other uh, residential lots as well too. So he has a house to the left of him, a house to the right of him, and then his one acre is right in between. So it's already a established neighborhood, which is what I teach my students how to do anyway. When you're buying vacant land, make sure you buy it in a area that's already developed, already you know established so that um, you can have success, right? It's, it's already desirable. People are in that neighborhood, that area, so you're not like the first one you know, trying to forge your way through like a forest, right? Anyway, so he bought the land and he was quite nervous about it. And he was like, oh my God, Jackie, what do I do? What do I do? So I was like, hey, let's, let's just talk this through, right? So I help him, you know, get off the ledge, <laughs> so to speak. So first things first with my students, we gonna pray, all right? So I'm gonna pray. Maybe you don't, you know, whatever your faith is, that's cool. But I says, first things first, we're going to um, we're gonna bless the opportunity, bless the land, bless your bank account, bless the monies coming into your bank account, flowing in and flowing out of your bank account. And we are increasing everything that we are doing right now because you have dominion over the earth, right? So it is your divine inheritance to have dominion, to be a manager, to be a good steward of your finances. So we prayed over his win and his land and his investment and his wealth for himself and for his family. And I was like, all right, now that we got that out of the way, I want to make sure we talk about the details. So just like you, uh, David, you know, was brand new, right? So he had to learn some skills and the skills he learned, he learned it in Tax D Genius and he took his time. So some people start out the gate running and that's cool because I'm there for it. I'm here for it in the event that that's what you want to do. 
do when others take their time and you know just digest the information and then they move forward but nevertheless wherever you are on the planet you can do this so whether it's from your living room right now I'm sitting at my uh, island you know the counter in my kitchen and I got my my laptop right here right so this is what we do as investors right so we do all of our investing right here right from the comfort of our home okay so whether you want to invest in um residential properties commercial properties industrial properties whatever you want to do we can all do it together right here right here from the comfort of your of your home cool so david's investing we do all of our due diligence together um I had him go through the steps and the checklist with me that I provided him because I, I love to teach. So I want to make sure that people understand the, the concepts that I'm teaching. So I, I test you, right? So you got like a little pop quiz. So I was like, all right, well, tell me what you did, right? And I'll tell you if you got it right. So he went through all of his, uh, all of the steps accurately that I taught him how to do. And he confirmed the property had no liens on it, right? Zero liens. It was free and clear. It didn't have any mortgages. It didn't have any encumbrances. There was no code enforcement lien. It was a clean, clean property, okay? The owner, there was only one owner prior to him uh, winning it at the auction, and that owner owned the property since 1982. They had that property since 1982. So not really sure what happened in their situation. Sometimes owners pass away or sometimes they just give up you know they're like ah I don't want to own the property anymore so they just stop paying taxes and then the process begins with the county because um, the taxes have been unpaid for a couple of years and then the county ends up actually um, foreclosing on the property due to the delinquent taxes right so that's what we do as investors we um, maximize that strategy by buying properties for their delinquent taxes so oh a cool thing that David told me too is that he wasn't even present at the auction so it was a virtual auction and he had to to work so he wasn't available during the time of the auction so what he did is he set a proxy bid he set a bid um, in advance right so he could have been outbidded but he wasn't so he set a proxy bid and I also teach him a small little uh, strategy regarding his proxy bid so that was dope so he listens to me I love it when he listens to me and he won the auction so he knows how much he won by because at the end of a virtual auction they normally um, give you the history of the auction so he could see who bid against him and how much he won um, over them and it was just like a hundred dollars like he beat them out by like one hundred dollars right so he was able to successfully get it so shout out to david ah! so he um he called the county just to make sure you know what he can do with it and everything and he was already like investing in like mobile homes and things like that so i think that that's probably the um the 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 cash flow stream um that he and his wife is going to do they're probably just going to get an inexpensive mobile home and have it move to his one acre lot and then bada bing bada boom you got yourself a rental property, y'all. <laughs> Literally got yourself a rental property, right? For, you know, I, oh my God. So he bought it for $14,000. And, you know, if you move a cheap, inexpensive um, uh, mobile home, you can get them a used one for also very inexpensive too. So say his total out of pocket would have been maybe somewhere around $30,000. Maybe another $15,000 for a used um um mobile home but your rent is still market rent it's still market rent like even though it's a mobile home it's like it's still market rent and you guys know what rent is at this particular time in the market so he can easily um, make back his investment in a really really short period of time and then begin to build wealth on top of that oh my gosh i'm so excited for him so that's one strategy the second strategy is remember i said that he has um neighbors right so yeah the neighbors to the left and the neighbors to the right he can easily offer his lot which is in between those two neighbors and see which one of those neighbors wants to expand their lot why not right so that's another strategy with vacant land that i always tell my students to consider is make sure you get a, a lot that's in between neighbors in a neighborhood that's already established so that either neighbor 
if they want to expand their lot, maybe they consider purchasing it from you and now you have a quick sale, right? You got a quick pop of cash. So you bought it for a small amount and now you're gonna sell it for a higher amount than what you bought it for. How dope is that? So a quick sale, right? So he has options. Um, the third option he can do, he can like owner finance it. He can be the bank. So say he wants to uh, sell that property and earn interest from it, right? So you can sell it, be the bank for your buyer and have your buyer pay you back based on your purchase price plus interest, right? So that interest there is based off of the convenience of being able to um, buy the property without having all of the monies up front for your buyer, right? So that's why banks charge interest on cars and homes and, and credit cards is for the convenience of using someone else's money and having the time to pay it back in small increments, right? So David now has a third option where he can be the bank for his own property by selling it on owner financing too. So here we go. So we got owner financing. That's one option where David can be the bank and sell his property on terms to someone who is interested in you know, building a house or building something on that lot. That's one. Uh, number two, he can also offer his property for, you know, cash or a premium to either one of his neighbors, right? So he can like flip it really, really quickly and just sell it to one of his neighbors. So that's option two. Option three is he can put a house on it if he wants to. So he can develop it. He can build a house on it. He can go through that process or maybe he can put like a mobile home on it or something. Or maybe he can even divide it in the event that the county allows him to do that and put like two mobile homes and now he has two properties, right? Because I told you it's an acre. So if he can subdivide it into a half an acre each, then he can like literally put two structures on that particular land if it can support it in the zoning, right? And now you got two rental income producing properties on that land God damn it listen people y'all gonna have me cuss up in here and start twerking and carrying on in my house today what oh my gosh I mean it's literally life-changing what tax the genius real estate investing program can do you know when I first started out sharing this information with people I would be in awe literally of how quickly they're able to build wealth and to just really change their life, you know? And I'm still in awe every single time I have uh, a success stories come into my inbox and people um, share their Google reviews and my students share their reviews online. It's just incredible. So shout out to you, David. Shout out to all of my students um, who are out there just killing it. You know, they're silently doing what they do. And, you know, of course, for me personally, I'm always very protective over my students. So I'm not out, you know, putting you guys on blast and, you know, giving out addresses or properties and things like that. I don't do that. You know, I respect your privacy and things. So sometimes they share, sometimes they don't. But I know that they're out there and they're buying properties. And I'm just really proud of the implementation of everything that they have been able to successfully do with my guidance and with you know coaching anyway so this thursday as a matter of fact i think it's tomorrow maybe yeah it's tomorrow so this thursday and every thursday for the month of june i will be going live in tax the genius facebook group at 8 p.m eastern standard time wherever I am on the planet, because I do have some travel plans this month. So no matter where I am, if I got Wi-Fi signal, I'm on it. You're going to see me on Thursdays at 8 p.m. Um, here in the group, and I'm just going to be talking about tips. I'm also going to um, be answering your frequently asked questions as well, too, some FAQs, because a lot of people have questions about this real estate investing strategy because it's uncommon. You know, most people are familiar with like maybe wholesaling you've heard that term before you understand fix and flip right so you buy a property and then you add value to it and then you sell it you know for a larger amount because you've invested you remodeled and all of that stuff so i'm clear that many people understand certain concepts about real estate investing but there's so many different ways that you can literally um create wealth of real estate 
in an untraditional way that possibly you'd never heard of. So the strategy that I teach is very, very untraditional. And I teach it in such a way that it's in bite-sized pieces and it's digestible and anybody can do it at any age. As a matter of fact, you know, most of my uh, students are working professionals. So if you're a working professional, you're like, oh my gosh, I don't have time for this. I don't know if I could like take on like another thing, you know, this is for you. <laughs> Because you're too busy, you know, doing what you're doing, but you need, you know, set aside some time for you to be able to create wealth, right? And you can do it from the comfort of your living room with your laptop, your computer or something, you know, and you do it with the guidance of somebody that's here for you and really excited about your success and really su even more excited about seeing you succeed and win, you know, just holding your hand every step of the way. So anyway, a spontaneous live, but tomorrow's live uh, Thursdays at 8 p.m. is already on my calendar and scheduled. So I look forward to seeing y'all there. Don't miss it, y'all. We're going to be talking about a whole bunch of stuff. So make sure you tune in because um, I want to hear from y'all. All right. So the Jackie Jackson real estate coach and investor. You can check out Tax the Genius real estate investing program on my site, which is thejackiejackson.com. And um, you could take a look at the program and enroll at any time. And then you also can get all the information so that you can start buying properties for cheap all across America, right? And start building your portfolio of investing um, investment properties. Anyway, love you guys. I'll see y'all tomorrow at the live. Hey. <laughs>